Olá, Oi, como Bob, estás? Bob. Bob. If that does not reflect our personalities, I do not know what does. <laughs> Joey doing a sassy name, me making random noises, and Josh actually saying hello and being friendly. I, I, I have it on. Oh, let me turn on the volume. Hold on. <laughs> Go ahead and speak again. I don't hear you on the stream. It's us. I don't think so. No. I don't think so. No. I don't think so. No. I hate hearing myself three times. Right. Hearing myself three times. <laughs> Hearing myself three times. Oh my gosh, it just loops. That's okay. Of all the voices we need to hear today, the DMs is the least important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. How about now? Can you all hear me now? On the yeah. stream. Yep. Yes, all righty. Sorry for the technical issues. I uh, had a little bit of a. Uh, upgrades on everything uh nothing unfortunately that you guys will be able to see but yeah it might run a little bit smoother so as you can see we are down to only three players uh our lovely autistic gamer sean is at a convention so you know he's he's being selfish and making sure he can go out and have fun um yeah. very selfish of him but no we wish him well um people are going to cons right now i'm so jealous so uh, we have our guest star who was going to come back and play, uh, Sheena Shield. Uh, unfortunately, had a work emergency at the last minute, so they had to take care of that. So, real life happens. I've always said that um, real life always takes a percentage of your time, and it, you can short it, but sooner or later it will catch up to take all of your time. So, you gotta. Adulting is BS, 100% BS. But you got to take care of your shit. So, um, to introduce the cast, uh, we are going to start with the person who's messing with their mic and showing us their impressive arm hair, Jay and Demand. What's up, everybody? It's me, Jay and Demand. I play uh, Suzanne Zahana, the blade singing gnome, easily the most powerful person in this group. Um, I'm sure my party never gets tired of hearing that. But it is the truth. Um, I do not stream. I draw. So that's what I do. <laughs> and, and where are those drawings I commissioned? They're currently being worked on. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> a line at a time. Line at a time. <laughs> uh, next, we have our youngest member of our party, which... We have, and showing his face for the first time in a while. Yeah. Take it away. Hi, I'm Josh. I play Miyagi, the draconic lineage sorcerer who just multiclassed into wizard. Easily the most impressive and most charismatic person of the party, if not the most beautiful. Um, but yeah, I, I just kind of play D and D. Um, that's it. I don't do anything special. Back to you, Brian. And last but definitely not least, uh, someone who uh, is in my chair most of the time on their stream, uh, we have Damien the DM. Hello, uh, I am Damien the DM, proud gender fluid dungeon master for D and D. Get your minds out of the gutter. Uh, and I am playing Alex Anuticata, the white dragonborn ranger who d definitely does not think her actions through before just <laughs> bull rushing straight ahead. And we're going to see how that works out right now. I, I am a fan of um, you guys going down to the other level. I'm just saying that. I'm a fan. But we'll see <laughs> what you all decide to do. So when we last left off, uh, our party has been contracted by their captain, Captain Talia, of the uh, Sapphire Cathedral ship, who may or may not be pirates. Mm -hmm. Jerry's still out. 
to go explore these ruins so they can fulfill a contract by Reginald Mithord, a artificer uh, researcher who is really into this old republic, this old uh, government that fell off the face of the of the earth. Um, who knows how long ago? Upon finding these ruins, they discovered a warforged. After some very minor repair, the warforge is working somewhat, and in fact was able to gain its personality back. However, there are a lot of glitches. So, the party was going through, and I don't think they've actually thought their way through that if they bring their newfound friend in, they might be dissected, but we'll see. I'm sure it will be fine. I'm sure everybody will acknowledge that this person is a sentient creature, because that always happens in society. So, um, they are trying to repair uh, Sheena, as they learned Shield's name actually was. When Elkson found this little pathetic mad imp who was desperate for freedom and told them about a tree lady, Elkson, completely disregarding everything else, starts storming off. The rest of the party's like, no, no, we gotta finish this le this level, this level. And she's not having any of it. wonder if there's a little bit of history there. Who knows? As they are arguing, going through, quite loud, by the way, a black ooze-like creature seeped underneath the door. It's Every time it steps, well, not really steps, but it oozes across the dust that is covering uh, this floor, a little hiss sound can be heard. There's no need to roll perception, because it's there. And we are all rolling initiative. Yes! As we roll for initiative, I just turn to everybody and say, before we get into this battle, can we just agree that Sheena is an inanimate object and not a sentient being? <laughs> now, if you all... If you, you all... Joey, or do you need me to share the screen? Uh, I am actually accessing it now, so yep. we are good. So your uh, husky will act on your initiative there. Elkson. Okay. And I will be going for everybody else. Uh, Elkson, what is your initiative? Hold on. I'm trying to remember how to pull my sheet up. Or I do you want to roll with the sheet in forever? <laughs> or do you want to roll or? You know, take what I rolled for you. I'm clicking it. It's not rolling. It, if you have the, I don't want to call it like a hot bar, but sort of like a little menu towards the top underneath the map, you go in, you can go into utility and hit roll initiative that way. Utility. There. Oh, look at that. It's right there. It's not doing anything. It's uh well would you like to take the initiative i already rolled for you in forge uh sure it is a 22. nice all right everybody oh, else and the are tied yep yeah right. elkson has a higher dexterity so let's not waste time and get right in the game is still paused for me yes it is yeah okay good the game is unpaused nice. yay freedom Start of the round. Elkson, you go first. So it's this thing down mm -hmm. at the door. Absolutely. And it just looks like a black goopy monster. It looks like very thick mucus, black in color, that, and you can smell a little acidity. Okay, black goopy monster. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me just make sure I still have my breath weapon charge. <laughs> I don't believe you used it. I'm pretty sure you still have it. I don't think I did either. So I will do that. Akita. Ah. 
There it goes. Alrighty, I need to do a constitution saving throw. Let's see how this creature does. That is going to be a 19 on the die. Dang. It's going to be 4 damage. Does that complete your turn? I will. Thank you. Bless you. Uh, thank you. I am going to kind of try and move back in this corner so I still have line of sight, but I maybe I would, have partial cover. I would say that both of you would have three fourths cover from each other. Okay. Um. Husky boy, does he is he at his own initiative or he acts on your initiative? On mine, okay. Yep. Um, I mean, and you have control over him, so you can move him down, and I guess he would probably go do a heckin' fight. Alrighty, do this fight attack. Yes, roll. I don't have the things to roll for him. Oh, well, that's not not good rolls. That's a 12. 12 hits. Yay. <laughs> chomp, chomp. First I freeze, and then he chomp. He, like, chomps <laughs> off the frozen bits. <laughs> like, Elkson does her breath weapon, and then practically tag teams out with the husky, who then runs up and just chomps out whatever was just frozen. Now, I need you to roll a d8. Okay. As yeah. your husky comes up and bites, and it takes a big chunk out of it, you hear it howl oh, as it looks back to you as its lower jaw has dissolved and the entire creature dissolves. It turns into mist and flies back into your figurine. Doing, she's just standing there completely traumatized. I think that would be traumatizing. Miyagi, <laughs> it's your turn. So, Miyagi seeing Elkson move and take a shot, he's going to go forward. And that ooze is still there, correct? Right? The only thing Absolutely. that flew back. Does All he right. see my dog dissolve since he's on the same initiative? Like, I would say yes. You saw the dog go up there, look back at Elkson with fear in its eyes, like tears as the lower half of it dissolves. Elkson right, loves so this place. Of, the goal of the campaign tonight is to make uh, Damien cry. Got it. <laughs> Clearly. As for Elkson hasn't been through enough but from this one fucking dungeon. Hey, all I'm gonna say is you rolled the damage. <laughs> Frost fingers. Alrighty. Second level. Right constitution saving throw. That is going to be a six on the die, so it fails. So it takes 12 points of damage? It takes 12 points of damage. Hold on, let me make sure I have the door unlocked for Crystal to get in. Alrighty. Thank you. Well, Josh, I like you like that, but I don't love you like that. So. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Does that complete your turn, Miyagi? Uh... I'm going to give myself a second level spell slot back by converting all my sorcery points into second level. Shield and Hondir hold because uh, Shield failed their perception roll earlier, so they will be acting next turn. I will be giving you your meat shield, don't worry. Uh, so Zen, it is your turn. Um. All right, so I have absolutely no clue what's going on because I my view is obscured. All I see is my teammates acting. Mm -hmm. So for this turn, I am going to, I guess move forward to see what the hoopla is and then oh crap i see a monster there um bonus action i am going to cast my blade song okay so please don't touch this thing, touch this 
Okay. And then oh, for yeah. spells, I'm going to cast... If I see it here under spells... Sorry, guys, this is literally the first time Dean uh, Forge has worked for me, so I still have to learn it. Mm -hmm. um, I do not see under second level spells my burning hands. Do I just go into level one and then it gives me the option to cast it at Yes. Yes. Okay. Yep. And you can click which spell slot you want ah, to use. I see. I see yep. Okay. And you can even put down a template so you, you can see what happens. Yes. Mm -hmm. So then we go here. Oh, that's garbage rolls. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to actually center it here. Okay. <laughs> and we're going to rotate it. You would hold control while selecting mm -hmm. under that and then use gotcha. your mouse wheel. Okay. All righty. Dexterity save of 16. Let's see how this creature who has a negative. Oh, no. He's not dead. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> All right, and then that will be my go. This creature who has a negative dexterity. I rolled a five, so it's a two. <laughs> so it takes eleven damage. Eleven damage. All righty. You guys are because Forge doesn't believe in high damage. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are already messing this thing up. All right, good for you. Now it's the. Still. <laughs> now it's this thing's turn. Oh, look at all these lovely targets here. Regenerating Black Pudding? <laughs> I love its name. I, so, I love its name. At the start Easy of its turn. To the point. Yes. <laughs> at the start of its turn, something happens. You see more of it come out from underneath the door. As pseudopods, which are these large tentacle like things, form. And let's see, how many attacks does it get? Okay. And let's see. Miyagi's done the most damage. So it's going after Miyagi. So it attacks you with a pseudopod. You see this big. Thing. Oh, that's a natural 20. Oh, damn. Shit. Oh, damn. That's two natural 20s. Ooh. Is it really? It is. Well, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> um. How, oh, yes, you are. You're at zero. I'm not even going to tell you how much damage it did. You're at zero. All right. Um. So you see this pseudopod lash out at Meowgi, smack him across the face, and you see some of his fur starts to burn. You're not wearing any armor, correct? Nope, just robes. Okay. For all that He's... beauty and charisma, what happens? Uh, for the audience, Miyagi took 8 points of bludgeoning damage, and then 36 points of acid damage. Yeah. And that was 2 natural 20s on the roll. That will complete yeah, the Black Pudding's turn. Elkson. Just so you know, you were one point away from killing me. I know. Yeah, one point away. It's a good thing Hundir has diamonds. Seeing my dog dissolve and my friend just drop down in front of me. Just, <laughs> dear God, don't dissolve! Uh, second level cure wounds on Miyagi. Alright. For 14. You. Yeah. And she's literally saying, Dear God, don't dissolve! <laughs> <laughs> oh, just a quick question, Brian. What is it with slimes and oozes and shit? I always seem to go down to those. I, I don't. Always. You do the most damage. Now let's see if uh, somebody can use some fancy stuff that they've gotten. And Okay, so your dog would go, but your dog's done. Meowgi, you are down on the ground. Um, You see Elkson. Don't dissolve! <laughs> <laughs> like, Elkson's full panic right now. 
I'm going to reach out. Do you stand I'm up? Stand up. Yeah, stand up, reach out, and cast magic missile second level. Yep. I'm sick. Oh, Tell me God the creature has bruises. some kind of bladder acid effect. So that's eight points of damage. Alrighty. You see the magic and vessel I... slam into the side. Little bits of the black pudding falls off, dissolves away. And then what are you doing? Uh, I'd like to move a few feet away. Okay. Um, I know I'm going to take an opportunity attack. But oh, absolutely. Yeah, just just a few feet. That way, I, can I, just... I wouldn't move just yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. That is okay. Not as bad. It's twenty-two to hit. It's. You're down again. All right. Did more than 14 points of damage. So, all right. You're down again. Uh, all right. You're I'm muted, not meant for spell casting. <laughs> well, it's okay, because Shield and Hondir are coming up. Shield's turn. Shield comes up. Is unable to attack. And looks at Suzanne and says, Please move so I can hurt this thing. <laughs> <laughs> or... Wow. Or, everyone run so we can fight it in the open. Okay. And shield will go back into the open. Unfortunately, they cannot hit it across. It has a full cover. Hondir, seeing Miyagi unconscious again, is going to grab his holy symbol. And unable to reach Miyagi going to cast healing word at second level for a total of wow that's crappy but he also has plus two so that's going to be 12 12 I, hey, I'll take it honestly <laughs> so up then, and down up and down up and down Hondir is actually going to move back hoping that you guys Go into the open or something. Suzanne, it is your turn. All right, so we're going to try this again. I'm going to cast another Burning Hands. This time I'm going to burn a third level spell slot. Mm -hmm. And I am going to do it here. Oh, I'm sorry, I did not realize what I was doing. Hit control something. Uh, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll fix it. I'm doing horrible at this. Yes, you are. <laughs> hey, no, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> See, like, when when I do cone effects, like, in yeah. Boundary, I don't have to hold control. I can just use my mouse to it. So. Yeah. All right. Maybe that's what I was doing wrong. But anyway. Third save. Uh, that would be a one. Okay, so it takes 19 points of fire damage. Oh, it's looking hurt. And then I am going to haul ass this way. It does not get a reaction. Thank you for taking that hit, Josh. <laughs> it is Gotta regenerating my mentor. Regenerating <laughs> Black Ooze's turn. Is it really on initiative zero? It is. And unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. it's only other target is left. So, it strikes at Miyagi again. That's going to be... Okay, those are low rolls. So that's a okay. 12 to hit. Misses. You do not take 27 points of damage. Jesus Christ. Something about the wizard being up front? Not good. <laughs> Elkson, it is your turn. He stood up since the last time he was healed so can I stand over him so I can do thunder wave and push this thing without hurting Miyagi yeah you can do that cool <laughs> don't stand up for a second and I do that <laughs> alright thunder wave and try and push this thing away from Miyagi and towards the group 
I like to think with your best, like Arnold Schwarzenegger voice, you're like, stay down. <laughs> <laughs> what happened He's to not cool enough for that. <laughs> Alrighty, so Thunder Wave is going to be a constitution, constitution saving throw. And your DC is? 13. That is a 14 on the die. Damn it, so it takes half damage and isn't pushed. I tried. All right. Let me check Oof. something. So it takes half of four. Okay. And that's oh, thun- spellcaster you are. And that's uh, <laughs> I'm thun- not meant for spells or close combat, okay? And that is thunder damage, correct? Yes. Okay, good to know. Meowgi. Oh, Elksip, where do you where do you go? Because you cannot end your turn over him. I- I'll just take the uh- I guess I just, I'll just i take a step back to where I just moved. Okay. Meowgi, it is your turn. Um, I'm going to stand up. Don't, and... Wouldn't you love Misty Step right now? <laughs> yeah, you're right. You know what? I don't want to burn spell slots. So I'm going to... Wait, that was spell. Uh, create bonfire. Okay. And it's a deck save of 13. How long does that bonfire last? Uh, let me pull it up. 17 on the One die. One minute. It got a 14. One minute. Still takes past. half. Does that complete and, your turn? Uh, Second, guys. Yeah, that's going to complete my turn. It is Shield's turn. Shield runs up and sees the bonfire and cannot engage. <laughs> Could she try and like leap over it and try to attack it? You know what? I will. I will allow that. I will try to do some dope barbarian shit, where <laughs> she jumps well, on the. Well, in my line. mind, in my mind, like she could jump over it. Grant you, she's going to like I guess bump into Miyagi. So I'm willing to take damage if that's well, how it turns what, out. Well, what they are going to do is try to jump and kick off the left wall to go over it, and land in the square to the south. This okay. will provoke an attack of opportunity, and I will need to do an acrobatics or athletics. I'm going to do athletics. Check. Athleticon. And that I... is a 21. You see shield run up, rage, jump off this thing, and smack it with their maul on their way down, or with their warhammer on their way down. So let's first. Oh, and thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. The last two follows. I missed the first one. I apologize. You see this Warforge jump up, kick off the wall, come down with its Warhammer at the same time. That's going to be crap. I rolled a two and a three to hit. It misses. But it looked really cool. It did look very cool, but unfortunately the pseudopod does attack shield. 16. 16 does not hit. So no effect. That was a complete waste on all of (laughs) the entire turn, but shield has entered the fray. Hondir seeing Zen hurt will place his hand on Suzanne's shoulder. The Forge Master will give you strength. And will cast Cure Wounds at first level. 
Uh, that's going to take an additional plus. Oh, that's already adding. That's 12 hit points. All right. Awesome. And I know there's a way to do this. Here we go. Yep. Just highlight your hit points and then hit plus 12. And it'll add it up for you. And to Zen, it is your turn. Hold on. Got to do plus 12. That did nothing. Okay. One moment, guys. You had 16. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then just hit plus 12? Correct. There we go. Okay. I'm really smart, you guys. <laughs> All right. I got this, Joey. Got so I look at uh, I look at Hondir and I'm like, thanks for the lift, beefcake. And then I'm going to go ahead and move up here. And I am going to cast a firebolt at this. All right. The AC is seven. Nice. So that's nine damage on a 16 to hit. <laughs> All right. You see the firebolt go in there. It bubbles a little bit of the ooze. Does that complete your turn? Uh, Yes. Yes, it does. All right. Seeing the black pudding, seeing this large creature, it's going to go after them now. Bless you. I think Thank that you. was a, or it might have been a plane that went over. And now I can't hit anything. I'm rolling a eight to hit. <laughs> I can hit Meowgi every time. <laughs> Alexon, it is your turn. Uh, because I don't think I've ever done it, even though it's already badly injured. Bonus action, Hunter's Mark. Yep. <laughs> and I'm gonna shoot it. You see your senses focus in. Your trepidation, your stress from the tree lady, this creature destroying the one thing that held you to nature in this dark, disgusting place, seeing your friend dissolved and uh, you're thinking uh, partly digested at this point, your senses hone in on this aberration and you need to destroy it. It is an 18 to hit. 18 definitely hits. Roll your damage. Alrighty. And just so our viewers can see, when Elkson hits, you should see an arrow strike. That is 13 damage. 13 damage. This thing is looking pretty rough. Is there a fireball that hit it when I cast my spell? Did I miss it? No, you hit it. No, I'm saying, like, oh. is there an animation? Uh, you might. If you didn't target it, then oh, okay. it, it wouldn't play. Gotcha. Miyagi, this thing's in front of you. It's hurt. I, I have a question. If it's still standing in the bonfire, does it take any sort of damage? It does. All right. When it ended its turn, it should have taken damage. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. So, okay. are you going to kill it, or are you going to continue on your path of never killing anything and letting someone else steal the kill? <laughs> or is this your moment? This is my moment. Magic missile, point blank. Here we go, first level, because I don't want to burn my last second. Hey! 15 points of damage. 15. Are you sure 15? Yeah, 15. And not 16? Yeah, not 16. However, it ended its turn in the bonfire. As the pudding starts to dissolve away. It is dead. It had seven hit points left. I killed something! After it so killed you twice. You see, past the fire, so Zen's like, finally! Yay! Shield goes up to you. Or Sheena. 
You should not be in the front. That is my place. Then why were you in the back? <laughs> because you went in the front. You're right, you have a point. Oh dear. Um, I like how no matter where our ranged players go, they always end up in the front lines of the fight. The, <laughs> the funny thing is, is I don't plan for that. I just put the monsters where they are. <laughs> Should we continue? I want to check this room down here real fast. <laughs> are you sure? Uh, the wall clutching her statue. <laughs> It's okay, Oxen. I'm sorry about your dog friend. Would you like me to open the door? Oh, please. I'm not... I'm not strong. As S.H.I.E.L.D. opens the door, I need Miyagi to roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, I'm Are serious. You... Oh, my gosh. Dexterity. And so this is where I die. Normal. That's a 12. 12 passes. You take one point of lightning damage. However, shield failed as lightning courses through their body. And then they seize up. They fall down. Their eyes, which normally are glowing pinpoints of blue and red when they're in rage, shut off. Turn back on and they're red. And they step up. Turn around. And go back to blue. Are you okay, Sheena? I remember something. What do you remember? The repair room is... There is a portal that way. And points to the direction that you all were going. Oh. Started storming off, too. Mm -hmm. Pondir will Hell say, yeah. Well, that is where we should go, then. So, I need you guys to take a moment and realize that opening doors here is very, very bad. Um, oh, perhaps and you should leave it to me and uh, the walking tin can to open the doors. I agree. They did not get to open the door, though, by the way. Oh, the door's still closed? Oh, yes. Let's just keep going to where we were going. Can I go in front? Please. By all means. All right. You all travel down. And you come to... How oh, near heal Miyagi at all? Hondir is almost out of spells. Miyagi. I'm out. Miyagi, how injured are you? I'm pretty hurt, but if we get a rest soon, that sh I should be trip just as good as the rest of us. Well, how about we see about resting before we continue? Yeah, I'd, I'd like that. I think that would be great. Are we supposed to rest? There's things coming out of the floor. I agree with Alexin. Shield will speak up. Down here looks like a good area. Come. Completely bypassing the portal. Yeah. This hallway Weird seems to be empty. Thing. We could Can set do up. An investigation check. Roll it. Using skills. Can I just pop off a detect magic and just see if there's anything? Oh. Andre is like bullshit when it comes to dice rolls. I'm just going <laughs> to put that out there. <laughs> um, I got an eight. You see a lot of dust in this area, but then again, you've seen a lot of dust throughout this entire area. It doesn't look like this place gets much traffic. Uh, your detect magic. You sense massive amount of magic coming from, as you see on the screen, to the right. The that, portal. That, like, portal room? Exactly. Okay. I just wanted, as a player, I just wanted to see, like, 
if there were any like magical traps or anything like nearby. Yeah, I shouldn't be able to see that yet, but oh well. I didn't put the Oop, doors. Foundry kind of just kicked me out. I'm waiting for it to reload. Okay. <laughs> Shall we rest here? Seems a good a spot as any. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. Are you all falling to sleep right now? Indubitably. I would I'll spend... take first watch. Oh, you guys are going to do watches. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Yep. I'll take the first watch with Elkson. Um, but while I'm doing it, can I just like repeatedly mending on Sheena? Just to, like... Like, say, theoretically, like, we're all just sort of sitting down, and I'm, like, my hands are on, like, Sheena's shoulders, and okay. Elkson's, like, taking a watch, and I'm just sort of there. All right, that sounds fair. Uh, who's taking second watch? Sheena will. Sheena will take second watch. Um, with Hondir. Hondir will do half of Sheena and half of the third watch. We'll split it up like that. And I was going to say, I'll do the third watch by myself because I am badass. <laughs> okay. I need a perception check from Elkson. Nine. Nine. Nothing seems to happen. I'm just going to go over here. I'm just petting my little the statue dog. It feels a little bit, um, it burns to the touch a little bit. Nothing damage-wise. I just keep apologizing and petting it. You feel... You feel a bit of breath on your neck. Not unwelcoming. More of like hot humid, humid breath. And you feel almost an ethereal lick sort of it's okay zelks and down a bit all right uh for the third watch to zen roll perception check what am i doing perception perception mm -hmm. okay Nothing of note. You all get your long rest. Huh. Enjoy it. As the day passes, you guys enter into this room. You see eight pillars crackling with green energy. And a central pillar. Those of you skilled in Arcana may make an Arcana check. I don't know if anybody else is experiencing this, but your voice is coming in and out on uh, Nightfall. It's quiet for me. All right, how about this? That's fine. Okay. I mean, you sound better now, yeah. All right, I just moved the mic a little bit closer. Okay. So... As you guys enter into this room, you see numerous pillars circling this area and one central pillar. Those of you trained in Arcana may make a check. I am. Skills. Uh, no, not skills. Yes, yeah, skills. I'm wearing. Fifteen is good enough. You see the unmistakable sigils for a teleportation spell. And you also see returning. It is like this is a permanent teleportation circle with an on-use activation. Miyagi, do you see these? These are the classic sigils of a teleportation spell. You would need to just go inside the circle and rotate the central pillar into its locking position and everyone inside will be teleported. Can I do an insight check on shields? Yes, you can. Okay. 
And with that arcana check, you will notice that these sigils are very old. Older than some of the other things you faced in here. I had myself muted. I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> That's okay. I was wondering why you didn't respond. Uh, 17 on insight. I Gina, responded. You just couldn't hear me. Gina <laughs> seems the same. As they step inside the area. As does Hondir. Are we sure we want to do this now? Um, no discussion. We're just okay. Um, we. Okay. Okay. Well, well. well. This, <laughs> this this is where we can go repair our friend. Should should we not do that? No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying there was a library, right? You, I heard mention of books and a place where we can learn something. However. And this is just my opinion. If we go through this thing and we can't come back, we're missing out on a whole bunch of information. This is true. And and besides, if we find the way, and I'm going to point over towards Sheena, if we find a way to repair her, we may not be able to use it because we don't have said information. Does that make sense? It does make sense, but you would think that information to repair would be at the repair site that that that's true but i also mean just information in general what we're going up against if you recall our job is to collect things from mythos right how about the dm static yes uh elkson did when the imp was explaining where the tree lady was like was it through the portal, or was it like the opposite direction, like up above? I can't remember. They said that the way to the tree lady was in this direction and pointed directly where you're at. Okay. I, I understand it is not very wise to leave a level unclaimed. However, I do see that there is... Do you see the dust on the ground? It seems that these creatures don't travel, even with us resting here twice. We have not been accosted at night. I don't believe that they roam the halls. That's that may be true. However, if we find information about what we're dealing with, we can be better prepared. I think we are dealing with a lot of the undead. We might be dealing with someone who created said undead. True, but when we get rid of them, we get rid of the rest of the problem. I, I think we need to go. Okay. I, I think this is the wisest course. I I agree. Okay. Does everybody Absolutely. get on the platform? Thank you, Thank you Miyagi. I knew we were outnumbered the moment you started your argument. <laughs> Just... Okay, and who... Twist, who activates it? I'll go up. Okay. You've heard Suzanne explain. All you have to do is twist the central column and it will lock into place. Can you make the sound of stone moving into place, Damien? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to make all the weird sound effects today. I'm not the DM. I need everybody to make a change in map. And now, let's put you where you appear. Okay. Right now, it's a black spot. I know. Still a necrosanctum. Yep, yeah, still I here. Do. I know, because I haven't changed it yet. Let's put Meowgi up front, because he likes to be up front. Oh no, please don't. Put me in the back. <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> oh, fuck. I hate this name. <laughs> I fucking hate this name. This is oh, wow. exactly what I was scared of. I to be fair, Elkson passed. went through first, so it would make sense for Elkson to be leading. Well, it, it's a circle teleportation. You all teleported. So, okay. you all I are... instant cast mage armor the second I see where we're at. Okay. You see that you are in a room. 
<clears throat> this door on the bottom does not actually exist. Okay. Okay. You are in a, Got it. a chamber with what looks to be like a long sarcophagus. Closed. It's writing lost to time. Uh, it's the etching in the stone no longer readable. With four torches that are burning and a door to the north. Well, it worked out for Zen, and now Xen will start pushing it open. I need a strength uh, check. <laughs> so you there... said the door to the south is a lie, but the door to the north is there? Mm -hmm. Oh, DM, just letting you know, I am rolling my portents for the day. Yes. A natural 20. Oh. And an 18. An 18. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. I thought that was a strength check. I was like, oh, no. no. <laughs> I wish. I got a nine. A nine. It doesn't seem to budge at all. Alexon is not strong. Oh, let me try. I'm going to go up and try. Go what is this, a strength check? Yep. I do have a question, DM. When it yes. comes to the portents, now, is that 20 considered just a, like, a 20? Or it is a natural 20. A okay. All right. Well, oh, there's a 12 on the strength check. <laughs> it does not budge at all. I don't I think that might be sealed shut. Yeah. Shall I mean, we... clearly we're the strongest ones here, so if we can't open it, it just can't be opened. You see shield go. <laughs> <laughs> and are if there? they had eyebrows, you would imagine that they are arched. <laughs> mm. Are uh, there any like inscriptions on this sarcophagus or this? There sarcophagus? are, they can't but, be read. But it is they've been etched away through time. It is okay. What looks like could have been language at some point, but just looks like scribbles. I'm going to investigate this torch. Well, this is all happening. Can I do a detect magic as a ritual? Yes, you can. The torches are all magical. Oh. Ever burning flame. There's no heat that comes off of it. But they are solid pieces of stone that are part of the wall. You know, I thought you said that this was the location where you could be repaired. Yes. It's but all I see here. is a sarcophagus. It is further. This is just to this level. There's Lead a door. The way. Very well. Goes there and opens the door. That's, just, mm. that's her bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I try and open this sarcophagus? Sure, you've seen two people try to open it already and it doesn't budge. <laughs> Roll a strength check. As you guys start to see some flickering of blue light coming from the hallway. Say again. I hate this I, place. I, I don't. I, it doesn't budge. You <laughs> almost. You feel dislocate. like a cramp in your arm. <laughs> yes, you almost dislocate your shoulder. Oh, oh dear, that's not what I wanted to do. As Sheena moves forward. Feel good, Miyagi? Do you feel like a real man now? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to follow Sheena. Elksa, yep. as you are on that bridge to your left and to your right you see pillars and chains and this blue energy whirling around and move ahead of her almost liquid <laughs> surrounding you oh. definitely definitely feels cold in this area but not cold as you are used to it it feels bone chilling Definitely keep on not going. right. I have a question, DM. Are these pillars on each side of the bridge, or are they statues? They are pillars. Okay. Thank you. As you go forward, you see a large skull. Uh -huh. Its eyes glowing green. Pulsating with light. And you see... 
doors to your left and to your right. Miyagi's detect magic should still be up. What, what, what are we getting from the skull? The skull is definitely magical evocation. Another one of those poison skulls, poison cloud it's skulls. It's similar, but not. It's not shooting off anything yet. I, yet. I would not touch that. Um, I'm getting a bad feeling from it. Meowgy, for trips. To the left and to the right, this blue flowing energy that surrounds you is definitely necromancy. I believe we're dealing with some necromancer, if I may say so myself. Oh, was it the undead skin sacks? The floating skulls? The crypts everywhere? Some people just like that stuff. It's called gothic dining. It's actually what? quite popular. Who oh. wants to be surrounded by a skin thing that tries to suffocate you? I'm rolling some dice, by the way. There's quite a few high elves that ha enjoy the gothic tour. Okay, chat saw that. So, you have doors to your left and to your right. I'm going to investigate the skull. Okay, roll an investigation. Listen to the door on the right. Door on the right. I roll a perception check. The skull is seems to be carved. It's not an actual skull. In its eyes are what looks like green crystals that are definitely glowing. And as you put your hands on it and you're you're looking at it, even with that low investigation roll, you can see the glowing is getting more intense and bright the closer you are. And I try to dislodge the gem from the eye. Sure. What would that be? Um, that would be a strength check. Okay. I don't hear shit. I rolled a nat one. You don't hear anything. Oh, that's garbage. That's a four. It, it, you try to wedge your sword in there, and it's it's sealed tight. It is it is almost a part of this creation. If if Meowgi goes up and touches it, the crystal that is, um, does he get any sort of feeling or any? Does sort Meowgi of, like, do that? Meowgi does do that. Okay. You, your hand starts to burn, and oh, the glow intensifies. As soon as it starts burning, Miyagi would have pulled his hand away. Don't touch that with your hand. You take one point of disintegration damage. Oh, God. So hey, if it touches a giant burning. creepy skull, who would have guessed? <laughs> so. Let's just move away from the skull, shall we? Which way should we go? I don't hear anything over here. So Would you like me to open the door? Yes, please. Let me move back here. <laughs> the door opens. <laughs> I like how Suzanne is like, nope, go down. A shield goes into the next room. And Miyagi's left alone in the skull room. Nope, nope, that's not <laughs> happening. Nope. <laughs> You see passageway to the, below you, and ahead of you, the door is shut. Passageway below you has no door. In this area, as you can see inside of it, Elkson, you see what looks like a green fungus growing on the ground, heavy with dust, some spider webs in the corner. And you see a door that's further off down to the left. As you're viewing it now on your screen. I'm going to at this door. That door appears to not be locked. 
a simple wooden door. Would Elkson? the um, would the fungus be anything I was familiar with whenever I would spend time with my tree lady friend? Uh, you can roll a nature check. Boundary keeps kicking me, so 18. I apologize for delays. <laughs> 18. Um, it looks to be like normal fungus that you have found inside damp caves. Um, nothing that is edible, you think, down in this area, but nothing dangerous. Okay. And there is oh. a door down there. Uh, you just left click it and it, you did it's open you can walk through oh. it now I'm gonna listen to this door roll perception check I'm sure nothing bad will happen with both of you investigating Seven. The doors. you don't hear a single thing you check the door and it is unlocked inside <laughs> you see crates and barrels Tables. On these tables, you see different weapons and shields. Weapons! Uh huh? I call out to the others. Miyagi's gonna start heading down. Oh, and no problem at all, Damien. I just got your text. No problem at all. Uh, as you investigate further, Alkson, all of these weapons are extremely old, rusted. Of no use. What about this treasure chest right here? It is shut right now. Do you want to use a magic thing to open it, or should I just try to open it? Um. It does look extremely old and rotten. Is my ma is my detect magic still up at this point? Uh, it's near the end of it now, but it's still up. Do I get anything from this room? Nothing at all. Um, I don't see anything magical in this room, but if you open want... the chest, <laughs> okay. as you grab it, the thing falls apart. You see what used to be parchment that has been faded away. It's ink gone. Absolutely nothing of use. So there's nothing in here of value if I'm looking around and checking like these little containers and stuff. You may roll an investigation check. Could I assist being in the same room? Absolutely, you can. Yeah, twenty. Natural yeah. twenty. You find one gem, a Ooh. sparkling diamond, about the size of half of your fist. Doesn't Hondir use stuff like this for his spells? I think he does. Now, do I get any sort of magical reading off this diamond? Not at all. Or is it... Okay. And your detect magic is gone. Okay. So Are you I'm okay in. with me giving this to him, then? Absolutely. For now, mm. I'll pocket it until we get over to Hondir. Okay. And Elkson, I'm sorry for earlier. So Zen. I, I hope hope you know that i am all up in this room up north here <laughs> okay as you pass there was a door to your left that you passed i did see it yeah and you see a large statue carrying yes. it seems to be carrying or holding a long sword and a shield mm. made of metal and stone I am going to do something incredibly stupid, and I'm going to go investigate it. Okay. Okay. Stop. <laughs> and stop. Okay. As you come forward, you see the being takes a swipe with its sword at Oof. you. Okay. Misses you with an 11. I would like everyone 
to roll initiative. You are in the combat tracker now. Oh man, why does he keep doing this? Hold on. Looks in me algae at the top. Yeah. Unfortunately, you do not get to act until Sazen yeah. tells you something. Yeah, absolutely. Did we not hear a scuffle or anything? Nothing yet. You're way far away. <laughs> okay. Give me just a sec, guys. Uh, Foundry keeps kind of booting me out, so I'm just waiting for it to come up, and then I'll roll initiative. Okay. Uh, would you like me to roll for you? Um, Hold on. It's coming up now, but... Okay. If it gets worse, I may have to have you do that for me. Okay, no problem. Um, but I should be able to do initiative now. I point out that Alexon would be starting to head back anyways. You should oh, have had me, bro. Man, that's <laughs> awful. <laughs> All that's right. My life. Okay. <laughs> so we are going to skip to its turn. As you see, it takes a stance. And starts swiping down with two attacks on you. That would be a 22 to hit. I'm going to cast shield. You cast shield. Yep. And the next attack. Misses. Because I rolled worse. It the is macro your did not work for well work for me. Okay. I'll try to play with it. It is your turn. All right. So I am going to cast the cantrip booming blade. Okay. So I select it. You select it and then on the left hand side you should see under the select targets there's a bullseye. Click that, and it should put a little targeting re uh, reticle on them. Then go back to select targets, or select okay. tokens, and click yourself again so you can have access to your attacks. You can click Booming Blade as well, so. And then make your attack. It'll do that seven damage. All right. Um, sorry. That's if it moves. Oh, no, it does that damage right now, so. Okay. And then add eight to that, so dirty 20. That just hits. Perfect. So let me see. It's been a while since I've hit with that spell. Let me see what it does. Well, you just roll your regular weapon attack, and then you add seven damage, seven thunder damage. Okay. And then if it moves, it takes another D8. Where would my normal attacks be? Under your inventory. Oh, okay. We already know that hits, so... It'll be nine plus seven, so 16 points of damage. Okay, you hear... Mm -hmm. You scratch some of its armor. And all of you hear a big boom from the Booming Blade spell. You may all act now. Does that complete your turn? I'm, I'm going to use my movement to back up uh, 30 feet. <laughs> okay, we'll take an attack of opportunity on you. All right, hold on. How do I... And target myself. Oh no, I. Oh, okay. That is going to be a twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two to hit. Mm -hmm. Um, I use a reaction to cast another shield. Alrighty. So that is yeah, because that'll bring me to twenty-three, I believe. So yes, it misses. Yep. Elkson, it is your turn. Oh wait, hold on, I still have to move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to go back. You're not on select tokens. Oh, you're oh. trying to see how much 30 feet is? Yeah. Okay, so then... How do I unselect a token? Like, uh, well, all you have to do, if you target yourself, yeah. left-click yourself, you can move your use your arrow keys to move down. Every step is five feet. 
you should be on the on your left hand side you should be on the top two buttons should be highlighted okay. token controls and then select token got it so i should be able to move back here yep i made a horrible mistake guys <laughs> <laughs> And that's my gun. All right. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Hold on. Bonus action. I will cast uh, Blade Song. Bonus action was already used to cast. Oh, no. Never mind. That's not a bonus action spell, is it? Yep. Nope. That was a cantrip that I used. But as a, it allows you to make it a weapon attack as a bonus action, correct? No. It says you brandish your weapon using the spell casting. Oh, you are correct. Attack with it. You are correct. You cast your Blade Song. Elkson, you hear Sazen say... then oh i made a terrible mistake guys help right <laughs> after a loud boom then we'll start taking her full speed like dash action everything to get to the point where she can see her that's 10 15 20 20 30 35 40 45 hey. 50 55 and and I you can see what this large see? creature made of stone and metal holding a long sword and a shield as it's starting to take a step towards you all i hate this place uh so i use my movement my action bonus action hunter's mark hunter's mark got it meowgi it is your turn Hearing that, I'm going to rush out and up. I'm going to use my uh, feline swiftness. Yeah, and basically move 60 feet. You see Meow, he almost go down to all fours, and he's sprinting up, dashing in between all of you to get as close as he can. Honestly, at this point, I think I'd move to the very front just to like prevent people from getting hurt. Uh, let me just see how much that is right there. I think it's like 55, if not 60, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, and then I'm going to cast... <sighs> I'm going to cast Mirror Image on this. All right, Mirror Image. Let's show this, and thank you for the follow, by the way. Oh, so that's you, cool. You that have is cool. Mirror image going on now. Oh, that's awesome. Does that complete your turn? Yeah, I'm practically just trying to be a shield for everybody. Han Deer, we'll see. Let me pull this up. Han Deer is six. That is sixty feet away. Wrong thing. Let's actually just measure it. There we go. Hondir can see it, and it's 45 feet away. It is going. Hondir's going to try to do a sacred flame on this thing. Save his spell slots. It's going to be a dexterity saving throw. And that's a pass. No damage to this creature of mechanical wonder. And it is this guy's turn. It will move forward. It takes 1d8. It takes 7 points. Of, or actually, yeah, you need to roll. Okay, hold on. And it's right on Miyagi. Bring it, Tin Can. As it takes 2 swipes against you. Alright, so I have to roll. Well, you don't have to roll anything the first time because it missed. It only activates if it hits. It rolled oh, an 8 okay. to hit you okay. on its first attack. The second attack is a 17. Okay, so I have to roll. Sorry, took five this is points my first... of thunder damage, Brian. Five this points of thunder damage. 
If you have three duplicates, you must roll six or higher to change the attack's target to a duplicate. So I guess it... One of your duplicates is gone. Sheena's turn as Sheena moves up and goes to the side and looks at Miyagi. You need to stop being in the front. I cannot hit this thing. And completes their turn. Sazen. Um, all right. So now that I feel like I have reinforcements, I'm going to do some dope wizard shit. And I'm going to use Miyagi as a springboard. Try to leap over the helm tar so I can land on the other side. Okay, I need an acrobatics check at disadvantage. Because this thing well, is I have, I have advantage because of Blade Song, so it cancels it out. That's true. This will determine if it gets an attack of opportunity on you. 17 is enough. You are on the other side. And now flanking. Oh. All right. Time to use my new weapon, the spark blade. How does this thing work again? Hold on. You see, Suzanne pulls out their scimitar, flicks the switch on the hilt with her thumb as it hums, and you see sparks of energy start to fly up the blade. I am going to use all three clicks. All right, three charges. All right, so then this is, it says, I deal, okay, so deal normal weapon damage. I'm going to attack. Mm -hmm. With advantage. Mm -hmm. I'm flanking. That, that is a like natural a 20. 20 to me. That's a nat 20. <laughs> All right. So then I will... Oh, so, so I already rolled the damage for me. So that is 9 plus 7 is 16. And then I have to do a 1d8 plus 2. So let me explain this as you're adding up everything. Mm -hmm. You see Sazen running up, brandishing this ancient mechanical type scimitar. As she yells at Miyagi, a little boost. Jumps on the left wall to jump up. Miyagi, not really understanding what's going on, just holds their hands up as she jumps off of you, flipping in the air and bringing the scimitar down on the back of the head before landing with her back facing this horror and turning around with their scimitar. Doing how much damage? Uh, altogether 25. Now, did you double the damage for the additional? I did not. So let me do another. All dice, DC. all modifiers are not yeah. doubled, but all dice are. Yeah, got it. Not great. So that is 27 points of damage. As you see oh, wait, a... doubled or rolled twice? Because if I double it, that's going to be higher. Uh, we'll just <laughs> leave it as that. That's good okay. enough for a level five character on an attack. <laughs> Hello there, Crystal. And hello there, Joey's Please husband. <laughs> All right. As you see, a chunk of this yeah, helmet is are, is broken off. All right. And then I'm going to attack with my offhand. Okay. I don't know how to do that. So I'm just going to do a scimitar and we'll take off the modifier. Mm -hmm. oh, wait. I'm sorry. That should be advantage. Um, uh, and both of them, it automatically rolls too. Your other okay. scimitar just scrapes across its uh, armor with no effect. Elkson, right, it is. Oh, Elkson, it is your turn. And at bonus action, Hail of Thorns. I'm sure you guys are dexterous enough, and I'm going to shoot it. Okay, I need dexterity saving throws from Miyagi and from Sazen. I'm going to port and I'm going to spend one of my port. And, okay. Um, I'm going to spend my 18. So 19 to hit. Let me just pull up Hail of Thorns real quick. So I have a dirty 20. Well, hold on. You might not need to spend it. I need to oh. take this out. Okay. So bonus action, you cast that. Um, 
spell the next ranged range. attack that hits does 1d10 piercing damage. They have to do a dexterity saving throw. It's a 13. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. And how much damage? All right. So that is... I got to roll. Yeah. I have a lot of rolls to make. One second. Well, for, did you roll to hit? Yes, a 19. 19 does not hit. Wait. All right. It My just... Hail of Thorns doesn't go away, though, because it's nope. on the next hit. On the so. next hit. Yep, absolutely. As long as you're concentrating. Mm-hmm. How much Our... damage do I take? Because I failed that. Nothing. Because it missed. Oh. The arrow missed. Oh. Yagi, it is your turn. Okay. I'm going to raise my hand. And I'm going to cast... Spells. I don't want to burn spell slots. So I think I'm going to use a cantrip, and I think I'm going to use frostbite. Yep. I'm going to use frostbite. You got booted off again there, Joey. I know. I'm coming back. Okay. Oh, I have to. Constitution. Oh, no. Failed. A oh, so five points of cold damage. Okay, um, things looking pretty hurt now. And I will take a few steps back to sort of like it will take its attack of opportunity on before you. Before you do that, Brian, uh, you need to make a Constitution saving throw, otherwise you lose your reaction. Ah, oh, good point. And what's the DC? Fourteen. Say again. 14. That is a 13. Oh. So Miyagi is safe to move. Yep. And I believe that's on the, your spark blade, correct? Yes. Alrighty. So I'll, I'll just sort of move like almost in front of Elkston. Not to like block her line of start, sight, but to like sort of like guard. Understandable. And so far, nobody's really hurt. So Hundir is going to do another sacred flame. Try to damage this creature and save spell slots. It's saved. Why can't I do that when I'm hitting you guys? <laughs> and it is this person's turn. It is irritated with Sazen and is going to take two attacks on them. That is going to be a miss at 17. Mm -hmm. And the second attack. Ooh, that is a 25 to hit. I'm going to cast shield. And shield got you to 23 before. I have okay. blade song and mage armor up. Ah. So my uh, AC is actually 27. Okay. But I'm, at, I'm running at a level one spell. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. That completes its turn. Shield will come up. Sheena. Oh, you see it. It did have an animation there of shield. I did. I did. I saw yeah, it. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Sheena misses, uh, actually hits on their first attack because it is, they are flanking. They are not going to rage. They're going to save that rage. And for the second attack, is going to hit again. This thing is already looking pretty hurt. So then it is your turn. All right, we're going to attack again with the uh, spark blade. So inventory, spark blade, at advantage. Let's roll. Thank God for Thank advantage. God, yeah, I was about to say, although I think I still miss. That is a miss. Okay. Um, I am going to attack with my offhand. Just because. And that will be a miss as well. Um, and that's it. That's that's my move. Alrighty. Elkson, it is your go. So quick. 
question. Would Frostbite trigger Hail of Thorns? Uh, no. Dang. It's your next arrow attack. Alright. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna take a note. Would casting it break my concentration? Uh, is Frostbite a concentration spell? No. Then no. Okay, cool. Then I'm gonna take a note out of Miyagi's book and do Frostbite. It has to make a constitution saving throw. Alrighty. So Elksen sees Miyagi using a little bit of ice, which has always been kind of like her thing, and she's like, See you! And, and does it too. That's a nine on their save. That's a fail! Yay! That's nine ice damage. As you see this creature freeze up and you see cracks start to appear. As it shatters to the ground. Kind of does it like over Meowgi's shoulder too. <laughs> completely and utterly destroyed. And on that note, we are going to take a quick break. Please stay tuned for the rest of the horrors that I have in store. Trust me when I said this so far has been the easy part of the dungeon. That includes combat everything up combat top. after combat. That's. I mean, you're, you're kind of expecting it. It's it's a dungeon run. <laughs> um, so thanks everybody for the new follows and thank you for. I uh, hope that you all stay for continuation. We do have some RP coming up depending on which way they go. So we will see you shortly. Starting it, you guys are the OGs. <laughs> so, you know, we've started done D D forever together. I can't hear you guys, by the way, but like just tell Dave what you think. You've gotten a couple um, improved chuckles so far. If y'all are interested, uh, just let me know. I think it'll be fun. Cool. Oh, oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. It, it was a lot of fun. That's legit what got me started into the realm of D D in the first place, was one of her Star Wars campaigns. I know precious little Star Wars, but I'd be very interested in playing. I I've seen the movies and that's it, so. He was about to say, like, I don't know any extended universe, but Yeah, no. I boat. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yep.
going to do something, but I just felt like being a little mischievous. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go this way. Although he is squishy, he's gonna try and like defend his friend. What is Miyagi the leader? I'm the self appointed team leader. Uh, do you not remember our conversation before the end of last stream? Um, since when did we have to consult our team leader whenever we're making a decision? At that point, I became team leader. <laughs> has the heart of a fighter so but the cool. body of a wimp noodle. Yeah, no, I'm and on that note, of the salt. Of and on that noodle. note, we are live. <laughs> they missed the noodle comment though. So oh, it's all right. Josh is a salty noodle. It's <laughs> Welcome back everyone. We are back with our adventurers going through an abandoned uh, ruins of an ancient civilization that seemed to have been taken over by some sort of undead. I'm not sure what layer this is at all. My players may know with the name of the map. <laughs> so I'm terrified <laughs> as a player. Oh, absolutely. Because if I put you up against that now, you are all dead. And is as done as with with this as she already has been, like since the skins things, like. <laughs> Oh, you don't like, you know, floppy sets of skin wrapping around you? Stop and... kidding me, no! So, we are coming back when combat is over. You guys... All right, guys, that was my bad. That was on me. I apologize. Sheena will look back to Miyagi as his mirror images dissipate. That is a good trick, but stop going in the <laughs> front. And looks over to Suzanne. Is my common correct? Yes, he's just... He's here because he's charismatic, not because he's smart. Alexander <laughs> is going to go over to Hohen Deer and just hold out the diamond in her closed hand. Oh, thank you. This would be very helpful. Oh, this is That's quite so. large. Stuff in the 750 gold piece diamond. Holy shit. Yes. Wow. Don will be happy once he gets back. So, you guys have a door to the left-hand side, and the path continues past this now broken statue. Um, what about the helm? Can we investigate and see if it is anything or does anything? It's completely shattered. I mean, it's oh, okay. it is from Elkson's last attack. It is nothing but little piece, pieces of metal and stone rubble. I'm going to take one piece of the metal rubble and just throw it to the end of the hall to make sure this thing can't form together again. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. I meander over here and open the door. I you open the door, and inside, 
you see a desk with some papers on it. And on the back corner, you see something odd. A large jar filled with fluid and inside it, a floating brain. I want to know. It keeps saying I'm hitting a wall. I can't get in. <laughs> oh, it's because everybody's in the way. Got it. <laughs> and as you hear in your head, Elkson, Who are you? What did it say? Who are you? Uh, I'm looking for my tree lady friend. Are you? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> That's a little rough. Let me just change this up. It was a brain cough with no lungs. Are you servants of the master? What master? And on that note, roll initiative. <laughs> All of us are just her. All of you. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. It will go first for reasons. And it is going to let me actually pull this up. It is going to do a mind blast that will catch all three of you. I need an intellect saving throw. Oh. Uh, not very smart. Twenty-one. Hey, nineteen. Nineteen. Good. Good. Eleven, no, eight. Eight. That's a plus a... zero. Okay, so, Miyagi, you take 15 points of psychic damage and are stunned for one minute. Uh-oh. Everyone else, you take seven points of psychic damage and are not stunned. And the combat has started. Miyagi, you may make another intelligence saving throw at the end of your turn. Can I portent? You may. Can I give myself my 18? I thought you already did your 18. Oh, no, you didn't. He has the Hail of Thorns. Be... The 18. Yeah. You have shaken off the stun of the Mind Blast as your psyche, and you see that you have a bit of blood coming out of your ears. You are no longer stunned, but your turn is done. Elkson, it is your turn. Um, has it been over a minute? Yes. Damn. Yeah. All right. Did you put this on the freezer? No. Oh, uh, I will. Bonus action, hunter's mark. You hunter mark the jar. It's extra damage, all right? <laughs> and then... I will... Do I want to... This is two point blank for an arrow, isn't it? No, you're more than five feet away. That's all you need. All right. Pew pew, then. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20 will hit. 
So that is eight plus my hunter's mark damage, which is another two. So that's 13. You see a crack start to appear in the jar. Does that complete your turn? Yes. I need Suzanne to roll a d6 for me. d6, got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It is the brain in a jar's turn, and it gets its mind blast ability back. And it oh, will use wonderful. it again. I need intelligence saving throw from the three of you. As you feel a conal energy of just assault on your brain. 17. 17 passes. 24. 24 passes. 17. 17 passes. There, there it is. Unfortunately, it looks like I have to recharge it, so I have to keep on rolling this. Until I get it. And it looks like I would not have gotten this for a while. There we go. That is going to be nine points of psychic damage to you all. As your brain itself is assaulted with horrible images, you see yourselves being transformed into the exact undead creatures that you have faced today. Elkson, you see your skin being ripped off you and formed into the skinless. Okay. Do you remember how much damage we took the first time? Uh, yes, you took seven. And it is Shield's turn. Shield will run up here. And will rage. And smack it with their Warhammer. That will hit for 12 points of damage. Have to make sure full damage. There we go. And for their second attack, that hits for mm, slightly less damage. That completes Shield's turn. So Zen, you are up. This thing is already really hurt. Question for you. I'm reading the Sparkblade MK1S. Mm -hmm. It says that for the duration, each of my hits does additional damage, but it doesn't say how long that lasts. One minute. Okay. So, so it's done now. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay. So I'm going to move here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cast Burning Hands. Because why not? <laughs> Use those spell slots. Absolutely. It's... Oh. Alrighty. Saves. It made a nine on its save because it cannot move. It said I have no more level one slots, so I think I'm out. So I might have to do this at a level two instead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I went a little haywire. So that is 12 points of fire damage. Alrighty. Um, so I guess six would be what you did if you saved. Oh, no, it did not save. Oh, okay. As you see this thing, the liquid inside bubbles as it is cooking the brain now. All right, and that's my go. Hondir is going to come up and is just going to hold his action right now. He's holding a heal spell. Actually, let's see. Is anybody... Miyagi's a little bit hurt, so he's yeah. going to do a first level cure wounds on Miyagi. First level. That is going to be 13 
healing, but you don't have to worry about that. I want to make sure. There you go. It should automatically update your token. Nice. Okay, thank you. And Miyagi, it is your turn. You are not stunned. I'm not stunned, and I'm pissed off at this fucking brain, so... Honestly, at this point, I'm going to just first level Magic Missile. Okay. Fifteen points of damage. As your, as your missiles fly around your hand, speeding off, going underneath Sazen's legs, over Shield's shoulder, smashing into the, the jar... The glass shatters as your last missile enters into the brain and explodes it all over Sazen and Shield. It is most definitely so dead. Sorry about that. Bugger. And it smells. What are you all doing? You said that there's papers on this table right there are can i can miyagi try and read them what languages do you read i speak let me pull it up abyssal celestial comic common draconic and sylvan you cannot understand them okay i can't read these can someone else can or can someone else try i can i can read common draconic druidic elvish and goblin cannot Zen? What are the languages? I'm sorry. What languages can you read? Um, I believe common and gnomish. Hold on. Sorry, I'm just messing with uh, Foundry here real quick. What would that be under? Uh, if you... Languages. And language. Common, elfish, gnomish, and orc. Nope. But they do seem recently penned. So what are you all doing? I'm going to investigate the room, see if there's anything. Roll an investigation. Like, yeah. I'll assist her, but I'll roll my own investigation. Okay, then that will not be an assist. Okay, then I'll just roll my own investigation. Exactly. <laughs> Probably for uh, the best. Two. Thirteen. <laughs> Uh, nothing more of note. You see a some scattering of papers. It looks like this is a desk of some sort, but you see an old letter opener, um, a ink well, a quill, but nothing of note. Well, I take that. That's good for writing more letters. <laughs> <laughs> there is a door to the north that is shut. Shields, would you be a dear and open the door? Of course. And she opens the door. And walks through. I will follow Shields. Or Sheena. I need to fix oh, this. Oh, sorry. Uh, drama's happening. Okay. Did someone already take these notes? No, no one's taking them. I'll take them. In this corridor, it's a simple rectangular room. There's a door to your left, and the path seems to continue up north. The door to One your th left does look a little bit more ornate than the rest of the doors that you have seen. And there seems to be a faint red glow coming from the path. I listened to the door. Because it's worked well for me thus far. Roll it. Thirteen. The door does not say anything. <laughs> but you do hear a faint humming. Wait. 
Faint what? Humming. Oh. I open the door. Do I see anything? Well, inside the door, you do see some green light coming from your position. It looks like a large area filled with columns, and you see a staircase. As you go further up, you see two braziers on either side of a huge dais. A large metal throne surrounded by bones sits. And behind it, you see an archway with a swirling blue energy around it. Guys? This is magic-y stuff I don't understand. As Sheena does not enter that room and is looking towards the pathway to the north, I feel that the repair room is this way. I'm going to cast Detect Magic in here. Okay. There is definitely magic coming from the brazers. And what there. Kind? Uh, that is simple a simple light spell. Okay. And definitely from that archway. So is that, or Elkson, there is that other door right in front of you. Equally as, as ornate. Roll your listen. <laughs> that one! The door <laughs> says nothing. I try to open it, but apparently can't. No, because it is locked. You see, this door does actually not have handles. It has... It looks like it a circular... It's missing something. Like a... <clears throat> there's a large motif around of what looks like skeletal hands and an eye. And it seems to be missing a circular piece. So Zen, I need you to roll an Arcana check for me. Sure can, boss. Can I make, like, druid craft a little, like, bundle of leaves or something in the approximate shape of the indent? Ooh, yes, shit. you definitely can, can do that. Give me a nature, or a wisdom check. Wisdom, alright. To see how good you do. Uh, so Zen, that thing in the back is a short range portal. It most likely, and you've seen this used before in many wizard towers, that it will just go to another room that they did not put a door into. Oh. It can't transport you more than a hundred, uh, 500 feet. It's based off the dimension door spell, in fact. I rolled a seven. You put the leaves in there, and they wither and die instantly. There's a creepy lock over here. Oh, um, Cindy, I think perhaps we should take a moment to follow Sheena before we explore creepy death doors. I'm uh, still very much that. worried about her friend, but she's going to kind of begrudgingly go. And do stay away from that portal over there. There's no telling where it leads. But it is one way. So you guys follow Sheena? I guess. Yes. I mean, um, you made it sound like a trap, but yeah, sure. Just above <laughs> player talk. Uh, Damien, don't you have primeval, prime evil awareness? I do. Couldn't you theoretically use that to determine location at least i don't know how it how it works or anything well know. as you're looking that up let me describe this room in this okay. oval shaped room you see what looks like a diorama of worlds and moons circling around but inside the center room or center world is a alcove that is excuse me that is just large enough for someone of shield size. Next to it is a, another oh. dais. But 
inside of it, it's missing another circular lock. And I'll send your question. So, mountains are my favorite terrain, and caves are all twisty and can be not damp and stony. No, <laughs> I can't. Nope. Nah. <laughs> But uh, primeval awareness as an action, I can expend one ranger spell slot to sense whether any apparitions, celestials, dragons, elementals, fae, fiends, or undead are present within one mile of you. But it I would say the location or number. No, it would not. Okay. You are feel free to do that, and I will let you know. But yeah, I don't you know think that's useful. Yeah, there, See, there's a lot here. I don't want to know how many. I, I just thought, uh, you know, I've never played a druid or a ranger or anything like that. Okay. I would need arcana checks from both Sazen and Miyagi. Uh, I'm gonna give my. I'm gonna use my last portent and give myself a natural. That is very good. You have figured out exactly how this machine works. It needs its key to activate. Activating it would restore all of shield. Okay, so we need some sort of key and that will enable us to fix shield, Sheena. But Same I... as the uh, d creepy death door. Different size. But, like... Actually, no. Same size. size. Exact same size. Okay. What's in your bag? Um, it's probably the same key. But with your natural one, 20... You know? With your natural 20, Miyagi, you can see some circuits in there. This would have to be some sort of metal. In the door, it was more concrete. And it was a different depth, so I'm going to give you that with your natural 20. It's going to be different keys. Uh, it's a different key. Um, and you said metal, right? Mm -hmm. So it's something metallic. Something. Mina, do you know where they would keep the keys for this device? This place has changed a lot. I do not... <laughs> As she tries to access her memories. We I have... apologize. We have two options. We can go through the creepy portal into the unknown. Or we can go check the other door by back by the giant skull. I say the portal. Uh, isn't that jumping the gun? Um... Again, you know my stance. I like to look everywhere before we make any rash decisions. However, what we need might be on the other side. Hondir will mention, I did check the other doors. They were locked as well. If this throne area is... If there's a portal behind there, perhaps whatever master area would keep their most prized possessions behind it. And there's wise. He can navigate the ship. And I can. Then maybe we should let Han Deer lead. Uh, am I not? I mean, so far, S.H.I.E.L.D. has been. I would prefer S.H.I.E.L.D. to be the S.H.I.E.L.D. I, I have the to shield. agree. Go over to the portal. I'm just moving you guys for simplicity. What do you guys do? Perhaps maybe we could take a, an hour to rest before we do this portal, you know, get some of our vitality back. Uh, are you injured, Suzanne? Uh, I'm a combination of injured and low on spells. I'm at half health. <laughs> well, perhaps a short rest would do us well. You may all take a short rest and use your hit die to heal if you like. 
Yay, I can use my arcane recovery. Get my slots back. Some of your slots. I think it's one slot. Do um, I could do up to my something in spells. Round, half my wizard level rounded down. Yep, always oh, rounded. Let me, let me check that. Let me check that. I'm, I'm going to completely stop myself. You're going to say again, Miyagi? Sorry, I'm I'm thinking to myself. Um, up to a combined level of three, and none can be six that high. Okay, so you can do three first levels. Yep. How do I do this with hit dice? I've never had to really okay. do this before. What you have to do is you hit, you double click your character sheet, your character to bring yep. up your character sheet, and then take a rest, and you hit the short rest, and you select how many, you just roll your die, it brings up a window mm -hmm. and roll it hold we on filled it so it would still be because of it should roll one at a time you might have to hit multiple ones the rest icon is it on the lower left hand portion of your uh, character portrait I did it in D and D Beyond. Okay. And I use some of my hit die and back up to full. Okay. Six. Well, I'm, I'm assuming that's a short rest. Yep. I'm about to give up on this for tonight. Okay, here we go. And then I have five available. I don't need five. But if, if you click roll, it will roll one, and then you can keep on rolling. Oh, okay. Got it. During the short rest, Elkson's going to be practicing trying to druid craft a copy of the special apple. Okay. <laughs> Always keeping track of which one is the special apple. <laughs> Alrighty. That's seven hit points back for one of them. Because it adds your con modifier. And does that do that automatically or do I have to add it? Um, It looks like it does it automatically. Okay. So you're at 28 out of 37 right now. Yep. So I'm going to let you guys figure this out and we're going to move you through the portal for some RP purposes. As you guys enter through this portal, it is extremely cold. And again, cold, not in the welcoming way. As if anything in this area would be welcoming. And inside this new area, you see four mirrors that are all pointing to the center. In the center, you see a large green bubble. And inside is a woman. This woman is dressed in a flowing red robe with just the hints of horns coming out of her forehead. She looks enthralling, enchanting to everyone. She looks over, has a sly smile. Well, isn't this new? To what do I owe the pleasure? Trying to find my friend. Oh, and who would your friend be, dearie? She's a tree lady. Ah, the tree lady. The dryad. Yes. Yes, there is a dryad here. I could help you find her if you wish. Who are you, though? My name is Lexania. That's I pretty. Have... Well, thank you. Hmm. I'd like to think so. You are pretty as well. Oh. I have been trapped here for many, many years. Can I insight check? Yeah. Sure. Roll an insight check. 
shit. 14. Okay. 16. She seems to be telling the truth, however. Let me. She is definitely telling the truth. She is being truthful. I've been held captive here for many years by the master of this place. You must all be brave and strong warriors to have survived. I can help you if you help me. Shout but out. you're like the imp for thingy. I am no imp. Well, there's a, there was an imp thingy that was trapped that also said that they could help us. Well, I hope that you dispatch them quickly as heroic adventurers would. Yeah, they're gone. What kindly and goodly folk. And how would we free you if we wanted to? All you would have to do is shatter one of these mirrors. They are holding the at bay. Creating this... As you see... She touches the energy field and green sparks of energy comes out, holding me at bay. Mm. Would you help us? Well, I would tell you how to get through the locks. I'm sure that you've seen them. The large circular area. Yeah. I know where he keeps the keys. But if we just walked past you, wouldn't we eventually find them anyways? Well, it seems like your friend could need needs in some repairs. I see some sparks coming out of them. I know how Yeah, to, that's why we're down here in the first place. I know how to make the key that you would need. If we you have happen to make to, it? Well he shattered it. But oh. I hope I don't know if you have enough money to make requires platinum it's so good. <sighs> and hopefully Miyagi will be back oh yeah I'm still here I just turned my camera on okay well it actually yeah. messed up the cameras too oh I'm so sorry here I'm turn it back on okay uh Oxen is going yep. to uh, she just oh. needs to break the mirror right yep that's it she's gonna oh. approach a mirror <laughs> Well, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before we do anything rash, how can we trust this person? She Are seems we... honest. Listen, she may seem honest, but she may be good at lying. She's been here for gosh knows how long. You never said that about S.H.I.E.L.D. over here when we revived them. Yeah. Come, but dear always... Tabaxi. Don't you, cannot you see the wisdom in this? What creatures have you faced here? Lots faced of undead. A lot of undead. And listen, I think you're a lovely person, but I don't trust you in the slightest. Oh. You're trapped here for a reason. Probably by the person responsible for the undead. She's exactly. probably the person that did it. Why would she trap herself then? Maybe someone else trapped her. Do I? She having? Why are the undead still around? I think your dragonborn friend is quite wise. But if you feel the need to explore without my help, feel free. Listen, this is not the craziest thing that has happened today. So forgive me for being rude, but I don't think we can just let every person we know just free. Or you will I mean, have. Ben's just gonna my... kick the mirror. Oh my god! <laughs> you kick the mirror as it shatters. As this female, her wings, large bat-like demonic wings, come up. <sighs> now, I am wondering if I should keep one of you as my. I fucking knew it! But, seeing as you did free me, I will give you a bit of advice. Give you what? 
a bit of advice to that area at, to the right as you see on your screen mm -hmm. is the Lich's Library. Enjoy it. To the other area, there is a pool. Inside that pool is the key to open up one of the doors. And then you would have to put in a large amount of platinum to create the key to free your friend. And thank you, dear Elkson. I will Wait, free my you. friend? So she is trapped here? No, to repair your friend. Oh. Your, dru your dryad friend is behind the other door. Thank you, Which dear Elkson. You have the repair room and then the other door. Okay. That they both need keys. And then she'll say, Thank you, dear Elkson. I will see you later. And just kind of tilt her head to the side, confused. As the succubus leaves. Oh my god. Can, can you not free things? Listen. She could have killed us. Same thing with that flying thing earlier. Elkson, the can't... demon liberator. <laughs> oh my god, Elkson's the big bad. <laughs> they fought right? so much already, she doesn't- <laughs> she didn't think it was enough of a threat, and they, she offered to help, and... <laughs> so far, nothing as bad has happened I'm yet, sure nothing will happen. So. Everything will I'm be sure fine. something will, and eventually she'll learn her lesson, but that has not happened yet. You're supposed to be wise, you don't free everything. Well, hold on, hold on. She is a white dragon. They're not necessarily known for their intelligence. Oh, dude, it's not intelligence, it's common sense. So, you guys have two doors. The door to you the left. You grew up in a mountain, all I'm saying. And I grew Dealing up in a with church. demons common enough to have there be common a sense for it. Well, the oh. common sense would be that we don't deal with the demons, dear. <laughs> hmm. I didn't actually make a deal, though. Hmm. <laughs> so you have the door on the left that has the key, and you have the door on the right that has the Lich's library. Well, I think you know where I'll be. Are you heading to the library? So it's already started headed to the other one. I'm heading to the library. All right, there are two doors there. The door to the library is open. The other door Aww. is locked. <laughs> Inside. Elkson actually does that all and then grumble <laughs> and goes over to the curb. Inside this library, you see a chest and bookshelves. You have to actually go inside. I have to fix some token vision. I apologize. Looking at some of the books, do I... Do they have, like, titles or something? Uh, roll an investigation check for me. Can do. Now, you guys will notice that there is a chest here. Where I've just pinged, and you can actually interact with that NPC. 17. 17. Meowgi, you can interact with this scroll here. Oh. And that will give you a list of books in here. If you double click it, you find one spell scroll containing the spell Nauseating, nauseating Poison. You also find two books. One called Demon Heart. The Tale of Asher Dalon. Um, I need to pull this up one second. Crimson Dream. And another book called Draco Nobilis. Credit Ictis. And if you double click on the NPC, you will see icons where they have what looks like diamonds and you can actually loot the item. 
and it will automatically. Nothing happens when I double click. Yeah, same thing. Oh, I might have to change the permissions. Hold on. I tried it a while ago. <laughs> I will fix that for you. Uh, permissions. Mm -hmm. Okay, I might, I'll try to figure that out later. So, Miyagi, you have a spell scroll of nauseating poison that I'll be adding to your inventory. You have two books that I'm adding to your inventory as well. Sure, yep, they did show up. So you may click on those. In this chest, there is another book called Making Friends, The History of Necromancy. Who would like to grab that book? Anyone? I, if nobody will, I will. Alexson's just going to keep walking around looking for a book in Druidic. And in that chest is a key. I'll grab the key. It looks like it might fit the door that you were just at. The door on the left? Correct. Start heading over there. And go ahead and try to open the door. Yay! Inside, you see a pool of what looks like water. As you approach, the water shoots out, and four creatures fall to the ground. So all, of them, all of them misshapen. Barnacle covered humanoids, half rotting. Action just shrieks. And I need everyone. Nope, nope. Don't you dare move. <laughs> I need everyone to roll initiative. I'm about to die. And Suzanne just need you. I'm done with uh I'm done with Forge tonight. It's just not doing its thing, so I'm gonna roll manually for the rest of the game. Alrighty. <laughs> Ten. Ten. All right. We'll just try to remember that because I'm getting an error. So, so yep. this first drowned assassin will go. And seeing as Elkson is the only one there, it will take two. It has two daggers as it attempts to go around you and backstab you. That's going to be a 9 to hit. No. And the next is a natural 20. I need of you course. to make a constitution saving throw. Not great at those. 18. 18. That succeeds. Just double check this. All right. You take. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and add the damage on you. Okay. 
You're at two hit points. Yeah, Matt's with making it. <laughs> it yeah. is Shield's turn, and hearing Elkson scream, we'll go into a rage. We'll go in the door. And we'll take an attack of opportunity to try to head off these other creatures. Can I do my vengeful assault reaction? Yes, you can. Cool. I'm going to do that and stab it with the dagger. It misses shield and shield will come down with their war hammer. On the one directly in front of Elkson. And that's going to be an 11 to hit, which misses. For their first attack and their second attack. That was only a 10 to hit for the Vengeful Assault. That will not hit. And that's going to be a natural 1 for shield. No damage. It is this next round Assassin's turn who sees a new target. And will take two dagger attacks on shield. That is an 18 that hits. And the second attack is a 14, which misses. I need to do the damage. I actually need to fix that. So we'll take half damage for that. And a constitution saving throw, which they do rather well. They shield passes. Miyagi, you hear Elkson screech and you hear the rage of Sheena. What do you do? I'm going to start heading into that room and I will use my feline agility get there one here here oh dear let me just see something so maybe You see, Elkson is hurt. I don't have it. You're right there, Joey. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you're not able to see anything on uh, Forge right now. No, I'm. Forge is just not wanting to behave tonight. All right, can you share your screen, Damien? I will fix the cameras as they come. That way you'll be able to see what's going on. Screw it. All right. Missile, third level, and the one... Let me control. I'm going to target all of them. And the one behind Elk gonna get two magic missiles. Alright. So and sorry stream for me having to fix the cameras real quick, but this way one of our players can actually see what's going on. And I so think that's a good thing. Four damage for each of the ones surrounding shield, and then eight points of damage for the one directly behind Elkson. All right, just for one moment. As right now, they are seeing double Damien's. Mm -hmm. All righty, got that fixed. All right, so the one that's directly south of you, how much damage? Uh, eight points, and every other one, and every other one is uh, four points. And every other one is four points. Got it. 
Crowd control, baby. All right, does that complete your turn? Yes, yes, it does. It is now Elkson's turn. I... I know I probably won't survive another hit, but if all of these hit like that, which is just Elkson's thinking, she doesn't realize it's a natural 20 or whatever. Um, she wants to try and get rid of them as much as possible. So instead of healing, she's going to breath weapon at the two in front of her, the okay. ones that are lined up. And that is a dex uh, constitution save, correct? Uh, yes. DC 12. All right. The first one makes their save. Uh, both make their save. Okay. So half damage then. Uh, that is... Five, and then halved. So, five total? Yeah. Alright. See, these are definitely sturdy folk. Does that complete your turn? You do have healing potions. Do I? In your foundry, you have expired healing potions. Expired. Uh, she's desperate at this point, so yeah, let's try an expired healing potion. Alrighty. Roll 2d4, and then 1d6. As the taste is kind of like sour milk. Three for the d4, and then two on the d6. Okay, you get three for the d4, so that's three points of healing, and how, mm -hmm. two on the d6? Yeah. You have the need of having to go to the bathroom. Instantly. <laughs> you must move at least ten feet every turn. And that lasts until you are able to relieve yourself. That will start on the end next turn, not this turn. Okay. But you have to sure. move 10 feet. Joy. Trigger <laughs> all the attacks of opportunity. Hondir's turn. And Hondir will see what's going on and be unable to reach Elkson, so we'll target you with a healing word. Because you definitely need it. That's going to be a healing word at third level. For a total of 18 healing. Yay! So you got 18 plus what? I'm at 23 now. 23. Much better. I'm still probably going to go down next hit. <laughs> this one will target you with a tan crossbow. And they get... Many attacks. Two. Joy. As you see, it takes a bolt, sticks it into one of its pustules, loads it, and shoots uh. it. I mean, this is undead. I mean, I'm sorry, but. <laughs> now that's Alexon's reaction. Just, uh. That's a 19 to hit. Cry it out loud. Yeah, that hits. Roll a constitution saving throw for me. That's going to be a total of six points of damage, two of that being poison. Fifteen. Fifteen, good to know. And it's second attack. It does the same exact thing. That is a 16 and a natural 20. So the natural 20, it doesn't have advantage, so it's a 16 to hit. That still hits. Okay, that is going to be 11 points of damage total, and make another constitution saving throw. So 11 more points of damage? Yep. So you're okay. at 6 right now, I think. Yeah. That's a natural 20. Alright, you're 
That's good to know. This drowned assassin will target shield, but will actually move this way to flank them and make two dagger attacks. That is a natural one, and uh, that's not going to do anything. Second attack is a natural 20. That will be half damage. And full damage. As shield looks extremely hurt. Um, they are moving much slower. And messed up. So Zen, it is your turn. All right, so I'm going to move 25 feet to get to that green circle, the kind of upper quadrant there. Okay. And then um, I'm going to cast haste on uh, shield. Haste. Heard. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to cast a Blade Song, and then that will be the end of my turn. All right. It is the Drowned Assassin that attacked Elkson. It is going after Miyagi now, seeing that it has taken more damage from Miyagi. You Bring see it. it takes it dag their daggers and scrapes it across them, having this ooze on the blade and strikes at you with both of them. The first one is a 24 to hit. Hits. I need a constitution saving throw. Here we go. Fuck. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's see. So I go down. No. <laughs> I need you to roll a d4. Can do. Okay, good to know. As you take a total of 21 points of damage. And that completes that's his turn. I'm fucking hurt. Shield goes. And... We'll attack the one right up front. I mean, they're going to do a reckless attack, though. So, just why not be reckless? And I still can't roll for shit. I rolled a 12 to hit. That misses. Didn't you say Sh Sheena was going reckless? I rolled a 9 and a 12. Oh, oh okay. Next attack, 24. That definitely hits. Alrighty. It's going after shield. After being reckless. It will have advantage. Did uh, shield get the um the haste attack? Oh, you are correct. Yeah, I, I was fall. just about to bring that up. <laughs> Let me do that. For the haste attack. With advantage still. That's good. That's 11 more points of damage. This thing is looking hurt now. But now on shield. Uh, that's actually a miss, so that's that turn. Miyagi, you are up. Alright. Same verse, just like the first. Third level magic missile. Targeting all. The one directly in front of Elkson uh, is definitely the hurt a lot. Alright. Magic missile. Still spell slots. And I'm still going to do two darts on the one directly to the south of me. So each one takes three, and the one to the south takes six of me. 
Six, six. Three. And I'm just going to shout, Elkson, you need to get out of here. All righty. They are all looking injured now. Elkson, it is your turn. Um, this is close combat, so dagger, dagger time, I guess. On I will the let one... you do your dread ambusher because you hey. haven't done that yet. Yes. Normally, I would um, not let you do that in the middle of combat, but I'll go ahead and let you do it. One additional weapon attack. All right, cool. Don't forget dagger, that dagger. first round, you get an additional attack. Um, so it would be my action for main hand dagger. Mm -hmm. I get the, the gloom stalker thing for additional one. And then bonus action is the offhand or bonus action is an offhand, but you do not add your modifier add anything to it. Yeah. Right. Okay. So first attack. Natural 20. <laughs> yeah. There you go. And which one are you targeting? between Miyagi and I. Okay. The one in front of you is really hurt. I, I'm... I'm trying to make sure that Miyagi's not going to get wrecked either because I know he's okay. as squishy as I am. Alright. Okay. How much damage? So that's for... That's 10 plus the Gloom Stalker is another D8... And that gets a double two, eight, sixteen, so that's twenty-six damage from the first dagger. Like she's just full on screaming like As this thing falls to the ground, however, I need to do a saving throw, I believe. Yep. How much was the total damage? Twenty six. Twenty six, so I need to roll thirty one. I do not. It is dead. Yay. Can I bonus action attack out the other one? Mm hmm. Cool. Uh, and that's just a straight d20. That's not with my. Yep. That's a nat one. That misses. But what it does do is you see all of these creatures are wearing featureless mask as it cuts the mask off. I need everyone to make a wisdom saving throw inside this room. Joy. Natural 20. Nice. 17. Nice. 17. All right. Let's see. All right. You all are not frightened. As you see the rotting face of this creature. It is Hondir's yeah, turn. Yeah, I just dry heave a little bit. <laughs> you don't want to do any more dungeons, do you? Miyagi looks at S.H.I.E.L.D. and then looks at Elkson. And we will target Elkson. As Miyagi runs in and targets you or... You mean Hondir? All right, yeah. <laughs> Hondir will come in and target you with a cure wounds at third level because you need it. The last third level slot, slot he has. Thank you. 19 points of healing. Yay. You should be at 25 now. Yep. And then Hondir will come up next to Shield. It is now this drowned assassin's turn. Seeing Hondir there. We'll target them with their hand crossbow. That is going to be a 21 to hit. And that will hit him. He needs to do a saving throw. 
<sighs> and that is going to be a fail on Hondir. And he takes 12 points of damage. Do this correctly. That completes that drowned assassin's turn. This one will go after shield with advantage. And that is going to be 23 to hit. Shield goes down. Shield falls down to the ground. Oh no, I wasted my haste spell. <laughs> so Zen, it is your turn. So my pet bird, Avalon, who has been with yes. me the whole time, yes. <laughs> um, is going to fly into the room. Yep. And he's going to fly to that southernmost portion. Okay. And he's going to get all three of those guys in a level two burning hands. All right. You cast burning hands through your familiar. Yes. That's going to be a dexterity save from all of them. It is. Let me roll my d6s. And I'm just going to roll for one for all. Okay. That's an 18. That will unfortunately save, so they will all take half damage here. And Shield will lose. Shield will lose a death saving throw. Okay, so I rolled 13, so that would be what? Six? Yep, six damage. Not as impressive as, as I had hoped it would be, but it will do. Um. Huh? And that'll be it for my go. Alrighty. Um, next is going to be shield. Do I need to roll another death saving throw? Okay. Good to know. And now it's going to be the da drowned assassin's turn. And it will target Elksin with its dagger attack. That is going to be a 23 to hit. I need you to roll a constitution saving throw. Pretty 20. You, that's good to know, and you take 14 points of damage. Miyagi, it is your turn. All right. Injured near death. Alright, so can't really screw it. Magic missile again. Okay. And we're almost this done, time. guys. I know it's past 11 now already. This time, second level and two darts on the one that's. No. On the one to the, the westernmost one. Okay. Here we go. So, the one to the west is going to take 10. Okay, hey, we're going to go, first one is the one south of shield. Yes. How much damage does it take? Five. It's still up. Right. And then the one to the left of that takes 10. Yes. And the one north? Takes five. Alrighty. Does that complete your turn? Yes. Okay. Elkson, it is your go. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, I know that Hondir goes before these two things do, so I am not going to heal shield right now. Okay. I'll tell Hondir to heal shield. Uh, as I dagger dagger this one in front of me. Okay. That is a dirty 20. That hits. Roll your damage. That is five damage. Five damage. Okay, one moment. I need to do something. Wow. So, this creature 
is dead. DC 10 and I could not make him stay alive. I step forward, second dagger into this one. Okay. Ten. Ten does not hit. Does that complete your turn? Then again, I told uh, Hon Deer to heal shield, but yes, Correct. that's... Hon Deer is going to use his channel divinity and will be able to... Let me pull this up. Preserve life. Store up to 25 hit points chosen between the two. Or between as many people. Hon or shield can take uh, 25. But how many hit points can you take to get you to half? Elkson. Get me to half would be... Uh, six. No, five if we're rounding down. Yep. Uh, he will give you five hit points. And then 20 to shield. That will be Hondir's turn. This assassin right in front of you is going to go with another dagger attack at you, Alkson. That is going to be a 22 to hit. I need you to roll a constitution saving throw. Team. Say that again. 14. 14, good to know. And you take 15 points of damage. I am at one health. Alrighty, that's that guy's turn. This other one is going to take a dagger attack at shield at advantage. Because they are still prone. But they're not down. That is going to be a 20 to hit. And shield is near death again, but still up. These guys are really hurt. This is Zen. It is your turn. So Avalon, being in the corner that he is, is going to do a firebolt to the one that is north of shield. Okay. That is the one that is least damaged all right then he will instead choose to target the one closest to elkson that will be at disadvantage because it is they are in melee range it's you range are sending me mixed messages Brian. <laughs> i am just letting you know <laughs> you can attack the one that has more health at normal roll or attack the one at disadvantage with less health i will do the one that i originally intended to do then Alrighty. So that will be a 17. 17 definitely hits. We All need right. to get a little image for the owl. Yep. We do. We do. That is 2d10. So that's 10 plus 6. So 16 fire damage. That one's looking pretty damn hurt now. Okay. Let me stop that. And I will, I will move to, um, as far as I can get with twenty five feet, <laughs> closest to the one that is attacking Elkson. You can get right there, right behind Elkson. Okay. Sounds good. And it is Shield's turn. Shield will rage again, and will attack the one to the north after they stand up recklessly. Very good, I did recklessly. That hits for six damage. Still up. It's going to take another attack. And that will hit. That's 11 damage. Constitution saving throw. You see shield smash this creature in its ribs. You hear the cracking of bone. And another one smashes its head down cra cracking vertebrae as the head is now more into the chest as it falls down to the ground 
but then stands right back up. <laughs> Yagi, it is your turn. All right. Seeing that this shithead just got back up, I'm just going to first level magic missile burning through my slots. Um, so I'm going to do one at the one at the top and then two towards the or towards the westernmost one. All right. How much damage is the one at the top taking? Three and then the one in front of Elkson's taking six. You see it falls back to the ground and stands right back up. Son of a bitch. And how much to the one on the bottom? Six. Stay standing. Elkson, it is your turn. You're muted, I believe. No, I... Okay. I, this thing is so close to death, I just... <laughs> dagger, dagger, I just want this to be done. I know I have one health point, but Elkson is just beyond done. Yeah, I mean, I'm just right there with you. <laughs> That's a 13 for the first one. 13 does not hit. And you do have to move 10 feet, by the way. Okay, at the end of the turn. And a 17 for the second. 17 hits. That is 4 damage. Minus 4. Alright, it is still up. It's hurt. It's really it's, hurt. There's no way I can move 10 feet without getting an attack of opportunity, is there? Sure there is. Move 1 to the south and 1 to the left. Okay. There you go. Science. Hondir's turn. Hondir will get right in your spot before because he sees that you are hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and will cast and inflict wounds. I'm sorry. Was my Kelmorn showing? Oh, max healing on a second level cure wounds. 22 Yay. healing. I'm taking a lot of damage, but I'm being healed for just as much, so I'm staying up. As this drowned assassin will attack Elkson, seeing that it was almost dead. Elkson has coughed up blood several times by now. That is a 13 to hit you. Misses for the first time. And this other one will attack shield. That is an 18 to hit shield. Shield is down again. So Zen, it is your turn. All right. I am going to nimbly pass through Han Deer's legs and get to the back of the assassin so that I'm flanking with Elkson. Uh, roll me in acrobatics. That I can do. And with my blade song, I do that at advantage. Absolutely. 18 plus. You're good. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we're there. And then I'm going to attack with my mark, with my mark blade. Using any charges? Um, I use up all my charges. Okay. Um, 12 plus uh, 8 is a dirty 20. That hits. And then we had already established that this charge is long gone, right? Oh, yes. That's a 1d6 plus 5. Ah, uh, roll the 6. That's 11 points of damage. Alrighty. I need to do a save. That creature falls down dead. And then I'm going to do a backflip to get into that space with the other. You could attack it from where you're at. Yeah, but I want to flourish. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then do I'm another acrobatics to... check for me. Because you said a backflip. 19 plus stuff. 
Uh, unfortunately, that does make sense. <laughs> oh, quite a mass. Okay. And then uh, this time it's just a regular scimitar with no... Um, I doubt it. Twelve? Twelve misses. Okay. You scrape off point. a barnacle. <laughs> Shield rolls a death saving throw. Miyagi, it is your turn. So I am in I'm low on spell set. Frostbite. Natural one on their save. Ah, so seven cold damage. And as your frostbite takes effect, you see the creature turn to ice and shatter. Oh, thank Rathus, Jesus Christ. Wouldn't that be a Rathus Christ? Right, a Rathus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Inside this pool, you see one stone circular tablet and imprint a mold of another one on a second level cure wounds to sheena okay good idea i was wondering about that thank you elkson that was 11 healing unpleasant i know i was right there with you There's trails of blood along her snout. And we just for a moment <laughs> make an agreement that before we enter a room, we have a group consensus that this is a smart thing to do, and we all agree to it. <laughs> and that's why I, as the team leader, should be talked to and be a part of said discussion. All right, team leader, go ahead and grab the key in the pool. <laughs> you know, honestly, if I was in that like nine or however many hit points I had, I, I probably would. Andir will go and grab the key. You said team leader. <sighs> I would agree I just... with that. This mold has some interesting markings on it. I don't recognize them. If I look at it, would it be in a language I know? Uh, you may roll an arcana check if you are proficient. I'm not, so no. I am, and I will roll said arcana check. Okay. I'm sick of all this magical shit. <laughs> Don't worry, you I have it in character. Yes. <laughs> 18. 18. This has some transmutation properties and some, it looks like it would heat metal up. So this has transmutational properties and would heat metal up. It said we had to use platinum, but she didn't say how much. You did not. Oh, if only someone had platinum. We have platinum. Uh, as Sheena puts all of the platinum that she has in there, as it starts to melt and form a small imprint, it would need more. You watch as uh, Suzanne just starts to dry cry to herself. Uh, don't don't worry, <laughs> Suzanne. And I'll pour all the platinum that I have. How much is that? 33 pieces. It is about halfway done now. Okay. I'm not doing yeah. it, Brian. <laughs> Sen will put in her 23 pieces. Okay. Not enough. No. I just can't save these people. I'm so sorry. What a Hondir, why don't you put some? Hondir puts all of his platinum in? It is not enough. As I said, I had an interest interesting piece of horror for one of the party members. It's Suzanne giving up the platinum. Listen, 
I feel for your friends. Then I swear to God, <laughs> you will be the next on my list. Oh, so you have a list now. Sweetie, you have one hit point. I think I'll be okay. Hondir <laughs> has healed you all. Damn it. You should have had a whopper. Says then. Like the sandwich? Think of the <laughs> think of the riches we could learn from Sheena here. It would be worth more than the platinum you have. Oh dear, I think you have no idea how much I hate you. Also you can sell the information. Uh, let's take it. You give up all the Lashes platinum. Snatches it and puts it in. Give up all the platinum. As the mold is complete, and you have the second key that you need, and on that point, I think it's a good stopping area. So we will end our session tonight, as we end all of our sessions, with bitches, gripes, complaints, comments, questions answered, and we will start with Miyagi. Okay, um, I think this was an overall good session. I'm sort of scolding. Miyagi is scolding Elkson for letting a succubus loose and a imp. Um, Nothing bad but, will happen from those decisions at all. Yeah, exactly, exactly, right? You'll never hear about uh, it again. But I do have a question concerning Sheena. Um, with me casting Mending over that period of watching, um, how... Like, how is she looking better? Um, she is looking better. It is more cosmetic, as I said before. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, I assume so. I just... right. You have gotten most of the old uh, scars completely gone. Okay, cool. That's that's it for me. I just wanted to make sure Sheena was in tip-top shape cosmetically. Now, we have the person who I believe may be taking over this area as they love it so much, Elkson. Hmm. Yeah, sure. That that's how we'll describe it. Um Alexon is fucking done with this area. She <laughs> like the only reason she's still a little continuing is cuz she wants to save her friend, but she's legitimately questioning if she's cut out to be an adventurer at this point. She wants to cry so bad. This is this is rough. This is very rough. And next we have Zen. <laughs> Somewhere in the deepest reaches of the nethers, there is a temple of demonology. And in the center of that temple of demonology is a statue dedicated to Elkson, the savior of demons. <laughs> Liberator of demons. You have earned Liberate that title. The breaker of chains. <laughs> <laughs> um, Elkson will be, I mean, Elkson will give me. Suzanne is going to be inconsolable for what I foresee <laughs> to be the next three episodes. <laughs> that platinum hurt. hurt, huh? It, this this <laughs> was worse than any physical damage she's ever taken. <laughs> I knew when <laughs> I gave her that funny. platinum and I had this idea, I was like, oh, she is going to hate this. <laughs> it was fun. It was, it was a good character moment for me to be go back to my roots as a money-hungry <laughs> adventure. So I had fun. So, you have faced a lot of difficult challenges so far. <laughs> and now we go to the locked area. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm almost out of slots. And, at this point in time, you all would have leveled to six. Yes. And finally get multi-attack! Because of all of the combat, this has been a very combat-heavy area. And I told you guys at the beginning, this is this combat area is going to last a couple of sessions. However, we will have a lot of role play coming up as well. So, you all may level up to six. Yes. Keep yes. your D and D Beyond updated, and I will update it. Uh, I'm assuming that Elkson constantly moves around until she relieves herself somewhere private. Yeah. <laughs> That's well. There's other bad things that could happen with the expired uh, healing potions. Um, you could, let's see, because you have one more expired healing potion. Where's it at? Miyagi, do you hear those demonic dragon sounds? Oh God, <laughs> what is that? It sounds like it's suffering. <laughs> oh dear, we should put it out of its misery. Uh, you don't feel good. You have disadvantage on all actions and attacks until you take a long rest or spend a turn vomiting. Or you're drunk. Oh. 
That but would you, be funny for Alexan. But you gain resistance to bludgeoning damage, but you have disadvantage on all wisdom, intelligence, and charisma based activities, spells, or skills. Alexan, who has never been drunk, that would be hilarious. That would be. So. Never even touched alcohol. So our next session is scheduled for the 22nd at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much for all the follows and all the watching and all that. I definitely do appreciate it. Um, it all goes towards improving the channel and, and giving uh, more graphics. I do have to say thank you to James RPG Art for the um, a lot of our side art that we use for our break and starting soon, stuff like that. Uh, jb 2 a a for spell animations we use foundry we uh use seafoot maps um everything has been purchased and given permission to use on stream um and that is about it any last thoughts uh Are you guys I just... for more tabletop on tuesday oh absolutely we have damien the dm go check out their channel subscribe follow and see me play a crazy gnome and hopefully we'll see a Good puppy dog come back soon. Crazy gnome who's going through some shit of his own. <laughs> yes. Everyone he's cared about is leaving him, so let's see how he handles that. Not very well. I mean, he was talking about torturing people like it was normal. <laughs> and you had a last thought there, Josh? Uh, I just want to say props to you. I sort of skimmed through those books you added. And let me just say, they are top tier. Like, that's some interesting lore right there. And I can't wait to, like, sit down and, like, have a, like, in-depth read as Miyagi because... And I, I will show, the, show this to the uh, stream here real quick. We have the Draconis Nobilis one, which does have a picture of a gr gr or gold dragon and a silver dragon. And it goes into some great worm protectors of Jesredin. And it's I only put two dragons in there for right now because that's the most that you'll be able to read in this area. I'm assuming you all are taking a long rest after this. You probably yeah. need to, yes. <laughs> so I know that Hondir and Miyagi failed their constitution saving throws. We'll see what happens to them. So. You really want to convert Miyagi into another thing. I don't yeah, know. We'll yeah, no. Yeah, that's... Happens. So, thank you all again, and we'll see you back on the 22nd. Oh god, an undead minotaur. Before <laughs> we do that, though, let me actually cross out of that. Let's go find somebody to raid. Any uh, theories that you guys have by by now of this place? Alexon doesn't care enough to make a theory. <laughs> uh, it's evil. It's an evil, it's, evil it's place. It's evil, yeah. <laughs> that is the depth to which that uh, I think anyone cares at this point. We want to get what we came here for and get the fuck out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even me, who's incredibly powerful, is starting to be like, okay, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> it this is this is not a mega dungeon, but there are are only two levels, and you guys got half of the first level done. You got half of this, so you have one full level done, pretty much. So, slash raid. And we're gonna do somebody different this time. After being dealt a mortal wound from a paladin ability, did you just ever slash wound. raid and then at the at symbol? Correct. Yes. Did you ever do the uh, divine twitch vention? Oh, that no. I redeemed earlier. I did not. I did not see that. I'm sorry. So we will. Uh, I will definitely do that next time. You'll have it saved. Mayhaps a successful constitution saving throw instead. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. All right. We are now off. Yay.
So good game, y'all. Sorry, went a little bit long. But I wanted to finish that combat. <sighs> no, it's definitely an intense game. This was a lot of uh a lot of soul searching here, so <laughs> A lot of combat. That's what I, I couldn't think of the word combat, so I settled on soul searching. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Apparently, soul searching is a combative <laughs> thing for you. It, it is. It's it's an uphill battle. <laughs> oh man! So I so I finally got multi attack, and one of my attacks could be a cantrip. So I'm excited for that. That's awesome. Yes. See, yeah, I don't know I, if I'm gonna go druid or ranger next. I gotta look and see what I get for each. I, I personally, I would do Druid. That's just me, simply because you'd be at level two. Um, I don't know if you get Wild Shape at level two. I think it's three. Um, but like that way, you can start working towards. I don't know how you, how you have Oaks in plan, but I just put uh, my new level in Sorcerer, simply because I already have Horton. Um, just that way, I can get my charisma and my intelligence at an even 16. Um, plus I guess. Wild Shape is level 2, so if you took that in Druid, okay. you could turn into animals. And plus, that means you're sort of like a little tank. Um, and there's a lot of cool things. Alexin was pretty tanky this last fight. I took a lot of damage this last fight. Yep. Um, yeah, it's basically, you know, if you do go to the you know, Druid of the Moon, you could get um, some, uh, you know, some wild shapes and all that, but that would kind of cancel out all your ranger stuff because you're going to be more of a melee type. Um, and I would also say that any of your wild shapes, you could flavor as being more draconic and stuff like that. Um, and here, let me turn on.